My Donkey Sally An extract from Birds, Beasts and Relatives by Gerald Durrell Ever since we arrived in Corfu, I had been aware there were vast number of donkeys there. I was enchanted by the donkeys and their babies. Their soft knees, their great ears and their wobbling uncertain walk. I decided that I would possess a donkey of my own. I told mother that I would willingly forego all other gifts if she gifted me a donkey on my birthday. Then one day, Costas, the brother of our maid, began to erect a bamboo house in the olive grove for mother. When I asked mother what it was for, she answered vaguely that it might be useful later. The day before my birthday, everybody started acting in a slightly stranger manner than usual. Larry went about the house shouting, hunting slogans. As he often behaved in this way, I did not take much notice. Margot kept running about carrying mysterious bundles. Leslie and Spyro kept going into mysterious huddles in the garden. The following morning, I woke and remembered that it was my birthday. When a curious noise broke out in the hall, hold its head, came Leslie's voice. Look out, you're spoiling the decorations, wailed Margot. Dung all over the floor, said Larry in disgust. I sat up in bed when my bedroom door burst open and a donkey, dressed in colored crepe paper, Christmas decorations, and with three enormous feathers attached skillfully between its large ears, came galloping into the bedroom and came to a halt by my bedside and gazed at me, looking rather surprised. Then it gave a little throaty chuckle and thrust in my outstretched hands a grey soft muzzle. Do you like it, Jerry? asked mother. Like it? I was speechless. The donkey was a beautiful, rich, dark brown, almost plum colour, with enormous ears and white socks over tiny polished hooves. Running along her back was a broad black cross. Where will I keep her? I inquired breathlessly. That's what the house Costas built is for, said mother. I was beside myself with delight. What a noble, kindly family I had. How cunningly they had kept the secret from me. How hard they had worked to deck the donkey out in its finery. Slowly and gently, I led my donkey out through the garden and round into the little bamboo hut. I sighed with satisfaction. This was the finest donkey in the whole of Corfu. For no reason that I could think of, I decided to call her Sally.